This is the second day the Travis County jury has asked to hear testimony from police officers who were there when Mike Ramos was killed, but did not fire their guns. April of 2020, police responded to a 911 call that a man was armed and doing drugs in the parking lot of a Southeast Austin apartment complex. An investigation later revealed that Mike Ramos was not armed. To better understand what happened in the parking lot, the jury took a field trip during the trial to see where officers were positioned as Ramos attempted to drive away. Today, questions persisted. We, the jury, are in conflict of the testimony from Katrina Ratcliffe when she was called to testify by the defense. We would like to know why Ratcliffe did not shoot. During the trial, Officer Katrina Ratcliffe was asked why she did not shoot at the Prius that she testified was coming toward her. Today, the court reporter read the jury Ratcliffe's testimony. I could not have effectively shot and had the time to get out of the path of that vehicle. The only reasonable option I had for myself in the millisecond that I had was to get behind his vehicle for safety from the Prius. This afternoon, the jury also asked to hear the earlier testimony from Officer Valerie Tavares. If you believed that the Prius was going to head towards officers in an attempt to flee, and if you believed that those officers' lives were in danger, that authorizes you to shoot him, doesn't it? Answer, it does. Question, why did you not shoot him? Answer, where I was positioned behind Officer Christopher Taylor and next to Officer Benjamin Hart, I was in a confined space where I was unable to get in line in order to safely engage the suspect or Ramos. That's why I positioned myself behind Christopher Taylor because I knew his position was lethal coverage. This afternoon, the judge told the jury that if they could not come to a unanimous decision today, they will not meet tomorrow, which is Veterans Day. Instead, they'll come back on Monday to continue their deliberations. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.